Welcome back, guys, to Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. This is Honest Steven. And uh, we are in the final chapter. This should be the last episode of my Let's Play Resident Evil 4. Um, that's pretty cool. I didn't think we'd get there as fast as we did. 20 parts. That's not too bad. means I'll have to get get to uh, finalizing my review of a very old game Uh, obviously, uh, in the last episode, we had a fairly action-packed rush through a military camp, encountered a helicopter buddy that ended pretty much the way you should have expected it to end, if you have any experience with Resident Evil, and, uh, encountered Sadler, who used all of his Jedi mind tricks and f Matrix abilities and stuff i mean whoa this game is a whole different beast by the time you get to the end compared to what you originally are exposed to man it's crazy i'm fairly low on ammo that's fun i don't really have any way reason got a selection of what are you buying come back Eddie. to talk to the merchant anymore because everything that I have is upgraded and I'm not buying any new guns. Something's not right. Ashley, you stay here. Mm, boss time. Ada! <laughs> Better try a new trick, cause that one's getting old. Uh. You okay? I've been better. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I think you know. The American prevailing is a cliché that only happens in your Hollywood movies. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, you entertain me. To show my appreciation, I will help you awaken from your world of clichés. Ada, stand back. So Sadler is an interesting design. Eyeballs out the wazoo. Resident Evil loves elevators, oh man. Ugh. Come on. So, obviously, uh, eyeballs are his weak spot. You gotta just make do with the uh, amount of space you have. There's these things you can run across. The bridges jump. I read the text on the screen. The bridges collapse. Um, there's things you can swing at him. Like this, I believe. It does some damage. It's a... This is a fairly... Uh, in the grand scheme of things, a, a fairly uh, involved boss fight. It's I give them credit for what it is. It's definitely better than the past several games 
where you essentially just had hey you don't have a lot of space um make it work now you have you're limited on space but there's gimmicks and stuff like that and it's it makes it more interesting you know you gotta wait for him to come over here come on come closer saddler Oh, I didn't know he could do that. Alright, well. Does that kill my usage of this? You gonna do it again? Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna do my best to not use the magnum on this guy. But that's going to come down to ammo or not, you know what I mean? The sound Leon makes when he gets grabbed like that really makes me think that it's going to be an instant kill. There it is. Uh-oh. Get low on ammo. That's dead end. Oh, you're so close. Where's your eyeball? There it is. <sighs> Alright, well... Alright, switch over to the rifle, which that kind of sucks. Dang it! I knew I was going to blow it. Freaking crap! Come on, get up there. Ah, uh, he beat me to it. Not good. Ugh. I like that the gimmick of, uh... You gonna throw something? I like that the gimmick of using the cranes as assisted damage... Damn it! Are, uh, are limited. Because, uh, if you just kept running in circles doing that, it'd be kind of boring. Oh, this is going to be tough. Ah, come on. I am... Oh, this is... Ugh. I'm low on health items. I am low on ammo. Man, this is not good. Come on. Come on! Uh, go, 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 go! Damn it! Just follow me right across the... Is that a thing? Come on! Ugh, this sucks. I'm going to, uh, come on. Damn it. Uh, this sucks. I don't even know if the fire grenades do anything worthwhile to him, if they do anything at all. Shit. I couldn't see the light. That was a close call.
Yeah, that's what I thought. Maybe if one of his eyes are exposed. I can't. I can't do. I can't do it. I'm. S I can't. I need. To, I need to switch to the Magnum. Really sorry to disappoint anybody, but for what it's worth, the rifle uh, has is a uh, has its exclusive. It's fully maxed out. So um. Shit. So it's doing 30 points of damage per round. Ma the the broken butterflies does a uh, does a. Uh, does 50 so i would just i i'm not oh yeah all right so like i said it's basically a survival thing until you get the rocket launcher and then you just finish it Sorry, Leon. Hand it over. Ada, you do know what this is. Hmm. Don't worry. I'll take good care of it. Ada! Gotta go. If I were you, I'd get off this island too. She really pushed it. Here, catch. Better get a move on. See you around. I like that the cutscene cuts into the time and it doesn't start after the cutscene. It feels a little bit more interesting. Very cute. Okay, um, crap, I feel like I was, uh, shit, I feel like I was saying something and I lost my train of thought, um, anyway, so I'm glad I only had to use really like one or two magnum shells there, because, uh, I really just didn't want to have to do that, but I just, I'm not good at aiming with analog sticks, and I was gonna just, that combined with the bolt action, it wasn't it wasn't gonna end well. I was gonna die, it was just gonna waste time. Oh, any minute. It's gonna what? It's gonna explode. Poor Mert. So that's why the merchant never shows up in any future games. He's hanging out on the island. He doesn't know. He's just selling things, man. And well. Blows up. It's gone forever. I don't need to, but I'm going to. Just cause. I'm pretty sure it's, uh, you move faster if you have nothing equipped, but, like I said, it, whatever. I have enough time. Or I believe I have enough time. Here, use these keys with the teddy bar. The jet ski key. The jet key. Hang on, sweetheart. Here's looking at you, sweetheart. So, this is yet again another uh, interesting action sequence. Whoa, skadoosh. Wait! Behind us! I know, just hold on. really does feel out of place and, and kind of silly but it's just epic enough that you don't care you know
Oh, a rainbow. Ashley! Oh, those water effects. Uh. Let's go home. Sounds like a great idea. Mission accomplished. Right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So, who was that woman, anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that. For no reason at all, Ada is important to him. It's never justified. So that's it. Uh... Very exciting! I've, uh... That is my first Let's Play. I have completed Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. Thank you very much, everybody, for sticking with me through this entire experience. Um... I know absolutely that game Let's Plays are not uncommon these days on YouTube. They're a dime a dozen. It's just... It's what I... It's what I spend the majority of my time watching, um when I'm not doing other things and you could have easily just spent your time doing something else or watching any of the other channels that pr produce the same content I'm aiming to produce and for being here witnessing this being a part of this with me I, that it, that means the world you know and uh it's exciting it's exciting to really genuinely be started off on the path to be a content creator you know I mean I've uh I have a bunch of videos up already but this is the first time I legitimately feel like I've accomplished something you know I, I started out with the intention of finishing this I, I plan to do a review on it based on my experiences here but you know here we are now man from the start screen to the credits we've uh we've we've gone through the whole thing that's pretty cool, you know? This, uh, this artwork through the end is, a, uh, it's pretty good, you know? It's, it's unsettling. It's a neat little thing, showing the, the, uh, initial progression of the Plagas infection. So what do you guys think? Should I go on to Resident Evil 5? Should I go back to an earlier game? I have Remaster, or re the Remaster of Remake, um, and Zero. And I have the PlayStation 1 versions of 2 and 3. Or should I go to a completely brand new game? Should I definitely pull something new off the shelf and give it a go? I'm open to suggestions and requests. Let me know in the comments. pretty cute that they throw the uh legitimate message in with the 
Hunnigan, is that you? Finally. The line's Jack free. Hey, Hunnigan, no glasses. Forget the glasses. What's the status of the mission? I've rescued the subject. We're returning home. You did it, Leon. Thanks. You know you're kind of cute without those glasses. Give me your number when I get back. May I remind you that you're still on duty? Story of my life. You know, I I almost said that I thought it was weird. I thought we talked to Hunt again before the game was over, but there it is. 10 hours, 24 minutes, and 32 seconds. 81% hit ratio is not bad, considering I used the shotgun so much. <sighs> Man, that's pretty cool. But yeah, you know, um... Definitely, like I said, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see reviewed or just played or whatever. I have a bunch of games I'm working on getting a, uh, a listing available, a database for you guys to access. But, uh, you know, if it's something new, I can get make that work too. And here we are, back where we started. Had a, I'm trying to think of anything else to be worthwhile to mention, but I mean that's that's it, you know. That's uh, I appreciate your time, appreciate your support and everything like that, and uh, we're gonna keep moving forward. So for the time being, once again, I'm going to continue doing my best to bring you one of the most honest opinions you can find online, and hopefully, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.